Shelly, that's right. That man was taken to Elliott Hospital for smoke inhalation. Now, most of the people here were told to stay in their rooms because firefighters quickly got this fire under control. Shattered windows show where a two alarm fire started Friday night inside a large apartment building on Hanover Street in Manchester. Upon arrival, there was alarms going off. Uh, when they investigated, they found a heavy smoke condition on the first floor. More than 100 people live in the six-story Manchester Housing Authority building. Most of them are elderly. This is a very familiar building with us. We, we come here often uh, for ambulance calls and, and, and box alarms like this. Uh, so we're very familiar with uh, what goes on in here. First floor residents were evacuated, but firefighters decided to not evacuate the rest of the building because of the amount of people. We quickly get the fire under control. Uh, we remove the victims that we had to remove. Um, everybody else sheltered in place, and, and that's the safest thing to do in a situation like this. Fire Chief Dan Goonan says sprinklers helped to contain the flames to the first floor. The sprinklers um, certainly held the fire down uh, until we got in. and. Um, we put the rest of the fire out. It's the second Manchester fire in the past few days where sprinklers played a key role. Wednesday night, two people were rescued from a fire on Elm Street. Nearly 300 gallons of water from the sprinklers helped firefighters. Sprinklers save lives, certainly. Firefighters believe improper disposal of smoking materials caused the Hanover Street fire. Most people were allowed to return to their homes, but several apartments have smoke and water damage. And the Red Cross says that it is helping eight families who are now homeless. Reporting live in Manchester, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.